is Daniel Suarez's fifth year in the Cup Series. Four different teams, five different crew chiefs. It's been anything but an easy ride. But you know what? Regardless of the adversity, Suarez keeps pushing forward, and he always does so with such a positive attitude and, of course, a smile. Let's say hello to Daniel Suarez as we welcome here, here to Race Hub. Daniel, thanks so much for joining us for a few minutes. I just mentioned the different teams and your journey. It's also not the first time that you've raced for a former driver turned team owner, of course, Justin Marks. How does Justin's experience translate to what he's able to provide for you as a driver? Well, first of all, thank you Ed, for having me. Um, and yeah, honestly, it's been uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun working with Justin. Uh, Justin, other than obviously being a, a race car driver, and, uh, and I, don't, I won't say that he used to be a race car driver because he's he, he's still racing, uh, you know, you know, once in a while, every a few weeks. So he's still he's still behind the wheel, but he he just brings a lot of a lot of energy. He's so involved in the race team on every single aspect in designs in. In, in what we're doing with uh, with with the car, uh, engineers, crew chief, he's he's involved with everything. As a, as a race car driver, you know that, uh, that that we want to be involved with everything. So it's been it's been a lot of fun to be part of Traja Racing, and uh, and it just keeps getting better and better. So, Daniel, I'm thinking back in October when you announced you're going to race for Trackhouse, and this has only been about five months to where we're at today. You throw Daytona out but you've had two really, really good runs, a great start to the season. Did you think you were going to be at this point in time in October when you signed on? Honestly, yes, Bobby. Um, you know, I'm very, I'm very happy where I'm at. I think we have good people. Uh, we, have, we have people that have been working very, very hard to try to make things better. Uh, and already we have a lot of support from, from Chevrolet and from RCR as well. So, so when, when we were able to pull all this together, uh, you know, I, I, thought, I, I, I look back to myself and say, okay, if we have all these resources, why we cannot go out there and be competitive right away? I mean, the only thing that we will have to only work to try to make better is the people inside of, of, of our group to try to work in that chemistry and that communication. And, uh, you know, looking back to the results that we have had in the last couple of races, we still have a lot of more potential to be better. Uh, there is a lot of little areas where, where we, we still have to improve and get better. We still have a new team. You know, we, my, my crew chief is just getting to know me. My, my, my engineers are just getting to know me. So, so I feel like this team has potential for, for, for way more than what we've been able to do in the last couple of weeks. So, Daniel, no matter who you have, people-wise, or how much money you have, starting a new cup team can be a vertical mountain. And we know that uh, alliances in our sport are so important, but I get a feeling that this alliance with Richard Childress Racing, it goes further than just an alliance. It's almost like you are a third RCR driver, and the track house is a third RCR team, which I think accelerates your performance. I feel that you know it's, it's, it's a combination. I mean, I, I'm so obviously you know trackhouse racing and, and, and everything that we do is under under the umbrella of trackhouse racing. But but if it wasn't for RCR, we wouldn't be here because obviously they they are helping us on everything. You know, uh, people, uh, you know, resources, uh, technology, everything. So so that's a huge advantage. Uh, we we are together with them on everything. Uh, and that that really helps to 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 bring our program faster. Uh, and not just that, but they they know the experience I have had in the last few years, and they know also what I can bring to the table. So so I feel like in the long run, it's going to be a win-win for everyone. You're really taking fans along for the ride this season. In case fans didn't see it, last night the documentary Track House Get Ready premiered on NASCAR's YouTube and Facebook pages. So it really pulled back the curtain. Nothing is off limits. I loved seeing everything that you guys went through to get to Daytona and beyond. What do you hope that people take away from the documentary? It was a lot of fun to do it, first of all. Um, you know, something I have noticed about fans, about people in general, is that they, they love to see what else is going on. You know, everyone knows me as a race car driver. Everyone knows me in, in you know, in behind the wheel on Sundays. But what else is going on? You know, what happens behind the scenes? What happens on Mondays in competition meetings? What happens in when, when we have to do testing in the simulator? You know, what happens when things doesn't go right? You know, the daily routine of things. And I thought that 
people love that. And, uh, and you know, uh, big kudos to NASCAR uh, for, for being able to, to put this together, NASCAR production, for, for all the work and their help. It was a lot of work to, to, to do it, but but honestly, I hope that is the beginning of, a lot, of, of, of many more because I felt that uh, there is a way to connect with many fans uh, to see a different perspective of everything that is going on. And I felt that we are, we are opening the, the, the door for many new people to come into, into the sport. Daniel, my takeaway from watching the documentary was the fellowship and the chemistry between you and Justin and Travis Mack and Pitbull. And I could tell it was genuine. It just wasn't eye candy for the camera. But I want to go back to Justin Mark. He's a, he's a racer, you're a racer, and it's about let's win, top fives, top tens. But I love something he said in that documentary. Right now, it's not necessarily about the finishes. It's about the process. I loved hearing that from him. I love that too, Larry. Honestly, I, I do. Uh, um, you know, Justin is way more patient than me, <laughs> and, and I give credit for that. But uh, I'm hungry. I, I, I just want to go out there and be competitive, especially after how difficult it was last year for me. I mean, this year couldn't come fast enough. I was working with the team, trying to get everything ready, every single detail. And I thought that. You know, everyone in this group has been doing the same thing. So I feel very, very fortunate and blessed to be able to work with people like Justin, like Travis, like Ty Norris, a lot of great people with experience that they just want to go out there and compete. And, uh, and it's great that Justin wants to take things a step by step, be steady and, and, and surely. Uh, but I know what we're capable of. I know what this equipment is capable of. I know what Travis can do. And, and I, know, I know myself, I know what I can do as well. So I really feel that, uh, that we, we're gonna have, we're gonna have a, a great things coming our way. <laughs> Yeah, so so Daniel, I've watched the documentary like like we all did, and and obviously I have a lot of questions, but I can really only narrow it down to one. They're telling me I can only do one, but anyway, I appreciate all your uh, openness in that. And what I want to do is get your get your head into Las Vegas this weekend. You've had one top ten there uh, last year. I know it was not the year that you wanted at Las Vegas. I know you could run better than that. I want to know where you're at with this team today and get your head in the game. I want you to go to Las Vegas. How good can you do? Uh, I, I, I honestly think that we can, my, my goal is to, to start knocking at the door at the top 10. Uh, I feel like the team can do that. I mean, honestly, with all the little things that we have had going on the last couple of weeks and, and finishing, you know, 15 and 16, I mean, we're already there. We're already racing with the guys that I haven't seen them for one year. So, uh, you know, we have a fast pit crew. We have, we have a good group. I was in, I was in my pit crew that. You know, uh, I think at one point in, in, in Homestead, I passed like four cars uh, on p -Road. It's been years since I passed a few cars on p -Road. So, So, you know, I just, I'm just excited of, of the group of people that I have. You know, it's very, you know, about me. it's everything about people. Uh, you can be on, on, on the best organization ever, but if you don't have the right people, the right organization, the, the, everyone behind you trying to push in the same direction, it's very difficult to be successful. So. You know, I'm just very happy where I'm at right now. I felt that uh, that the team is getting better and better. We're working on the communication. We're working on the little things that we can do better. And um, and I feel that uh, that Las Vegas hopefully can be the race that we break through uh, into a top 10 and we can start building from there. See, Bobby wants to know about Vegas. I want to know if you bought your interior guy dinner. <laughs> and if you watch the documentary, you know exactly what we're talking about. Did, did you buy him dinner at least? No, yeah, but he told me that I owe him a steak. <laughs> yeah, that was, I mean, I definitely do. Uh, I, I really feel bad for him. I thought he was going to quit, but, uh, <laughs> but no, he, 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 he's a deal. And uh, he, he has the shirt uh, on extremely well, uh, extremely well. So just, like I said, just very happy with this group. I mean, as soon as that happened, they told me, hey, then, why you didn't say anything on the radio? And I said, well, there's nothing you guys can do about it. <laughs> so, you know, we just, I had to go through it. And, and, I, and I knew that they were going to appreciate that I drove for over one hour and a half, very, very weak, and for over 30 minutes, nasty. So wow. we're a team. And, uh, and, and they got my back when that happened. And, and I, I'm sure that they appreciate that I, I, I pretty much I left everything I had out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Daniel, you know you have three fans here inside yes. the studio, so wishing you all the best, not only this weekend, but of course this season. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate your time.